Hello everybody, it's Sparker60DSI. I'm back for episode one of Infamous. I have I think I have at least fixed some audio problems that I've seen for that introduction. So um, I'm actually going to be quiet for the most part here because there's some long conversations with Zeke that, I don't know, there's just something I want to say about it. So uh, I'm going to jump off the rooftop and uh, talk to you guys after, after you hear the conversation. All right. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Whoo! Oh, that was one hell of a jump, man. Wish I could do something like that. Running down all those stairs. Yeah, that sucks donkey balls. Hey, Cole, before we head over to Archer, I need to go pick up a new six-shooter. Oh, here we go. Ah, that was badass. The second you touch it, the electricity in your hands cooks off the gunpowder, and the whole thing goes kabam! <laughs> The look on your face was priceless. Damn near blew my hand off. Which is why you won't be touching the new one. <laughs> Traded this guy one of my homemade batteries for it. The ones that explode when you use them? Hell, he doesn't know that. Come on! Told me he was gonna leave the gun in the parking lot a few blocks from here. Hey, Cole. You know what I miss? Pizza. Big sloppy slice. Dripping with grease and pepperoni. And payday. Having a big fat wad. Bills in your pocket. Yeah, I'd settle for some hot water. Hey, remember that time we were coming home from Duffy's and I had to take a leak? And that bike cop was yelling at me to put up my hands? <laughs> you pissed all over him. But he told me to put up my hands. While he's fumbling around, I jump back in and we take off. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, awesome. Until we run into a wall of cops. Like I said, awesome! <laughs> ah, bummer we won't be able to do anything like that again. Yeah, not unless some genius invents a car that doesn't explode when I sit in it. Ah, come on! He told me he was gonna leave it under a car. I figured there'd be only one. We'll never find it. Stand back. I got an idea. All right, I'm back. Now, what we need to do is we need to press L1 and X to do a shockwave. It helps move things that are in your way or knock away enemies. But before we do that, I just want to talk about a few things. First of all, um, the conversation we just had with Zeke got kind of... Um, kind of helps the player understand the relationship between Cole and, and Zeke. Probably friends, men in college or something, you can't really get friends. Cole, on the other hand, is the pessimist of the two of them, because, you know, pointing out that they were in the tool wall cops instead of just saying, oh yeah, that was awesome, I don't know, they're the realist, and Zeke is the last half full guy, the, op the optimist, but another thing I want to talk about is that red and blue C at the top left corner of the screen next to those little balls of lightning there. Um, that is your karma meter. It shows you like what rank of karma you are, whether you're good or evil, stuff like that. For this Let's Play, I'm going to be the good guy. Now, if you don't agree with me, too bad I made the choice. But if you wanted to be the good guy anyway, good for you. This Let's Play, I'm not sure if I explained it, because I kind of forget what I said is going to be 100%. All of the last shards, submissions, everything. Just all of it. So, yeah. There's also going to be all the stunts. In the pause menu at the bottom, you can see your stunts. Stunt 0 of 21, melee finisher, stuff like that. So we're going to be doing that too. That's going to be really fun watching me go around killing enemies for that. Also, I'm playing this game on hard mode, so, yay, frustration galore sometimes. Alright, but right now, the, here is just introducing you to the shockwave, basically that, it's pretty powerful even in the first upgrade. Um, yeah, so the car that you really want to, 
suck away here is this one. This, this gun. He broke a car. Go. Hellacious! Hell, I didn't know you could do something like that. Yeah, me neither. There was the surge. Hey, man, you don't look so hot. Uh -oh. Trained all of a sudden. That's I not good. Now, a new ability we have discovered. If we press L3, we can locate sources of energy like cars or breaker panels, I don't know. And holding L2, we can charge ourselves. This heals you and restores you your electricity. Man, you're a you lose battery. electricity by abilities like shockwave. You don't lose electricity when you just do the like lightning bolt. So that that's oh, basically you. So yeah, sorry. That's Come basically on. your last dish out there. Square for someone takes all the brewskis. Now we need to run over the Arthur and we have a phone call. Hey, babe. You sure they dropped some food? Yeah, Zeke and me are heading over there. How are you feeling? All right, I guess. Powers are all over the place. It used to be I could barely power a light bulb. Now I'm jumping off of buildings, frying the junk on Zeke's roof. You jumped off a building. What were you thinking? Relax. I'm fine. Just take it easy. After what happened to Amy, I couldn't... Yeah. See you guys at Archer Square. I love you. You too. And that brings me to another point. The relationship between Cole and Trish. In that one, Cole is the optimist. And Trish is just the one that wants everything to be safe and stuff because... As you heard in this episode and last episode, she lost her sister, Amy. So, yeah, that kind of struck her. Whew! Boy, it's stuck up there. I hate to say it, pal, but, uh, hey, you're the only guy here who'd live from a fall like that. You gotta climb up there and knock that stuff free. Yay, we get to climb. We have to go up there and knock down that food. So then the people can eat. So, ah, crap, 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 crap. Let me, okay, yes, thank you for letting me climb the poles. Now, this is our first instance of climbing things. Yay, climbing. Yeah. Yeah, we get to climb. What you want to do is you want to just climb up here and go around to the food. So, yeah, jumping and climbing and everything, it's pretty good. But mostly it's just repeatedly pressing X. Plus, the metal disintegrates when hit by an electrical blast. Look for things that you can shoot and destroy. In this case, um, yeah, we could. Here we go. Yeah, we are eating. Ah. All right, who's down? Damn, too late. Uh -oh. That's where I caught my first sight. The Reapers. Before the blast, they were just a bunch of junkies dealing drugs. Now, they own the Neon District. Taking whatever they want. That changes today. Yeah, we're here and we're gonna beat the odds. Now the first thing you want to do here is the thunder drop. That's where you jump and press square. And that is it's basically what it looks like. It knocks everyone off their feet and injures them. You can upgrade powers. I'll get into that at a later in a later episode. I should get into what everything does while in combat or if you going up. Square is your melee attack, uh, punching and sticking and stuff like that. But come to it. Reaper! Stop running! Uh, circle is like finding cover and dodging and being like, yeah, you can't hit me because I can dodge. And shock wave and electric and lightning bolt. They just do what you think, obviously. So. But Shockwave, it's great if you're surrounded, because like, it just knocks everyone away. Okay. Now, uh... 
we're low on energy, so we just charge. You will always charge faster than the enemies can shoot you, so don't worry about that. Like, if you're on the fire, don't worry about that. If you, you really should get enemies away from you before trying to charge. Okay, Reaper, stop running! This is annoying! I want to just... And I still didn't get the stun, what the hell? Okay, so, you will charge faster than a single enemy, but you should get, you should get enemies away from you if you plan on charging. So, I want to take this guy out. Uh, you'll notice that the take down, that blue, uh, I'll get into what that is all about later. Also, uh, I'll explain the water here. thing. Enough to feed the three of us for weeks. Maybe longer. But if I fry a couple people in the crowd, the rest will run away. The food will be all ours. And some of these guys might starve. Okay, since we're good, we are going to let them eat. That, this is a karmic moment. They will allow... They are basically what they say. I got one open. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Good action. Good act enhances your good reputation. And karmic shift. Your rank is now guardian. Important. Your karmic state is tracked by the curve, red and blue meter, and top left corner of screen. Evil actions such as hurting pedestrians if you evil red karma. This good I explain this. Karmic state determines how people react to you, whether they're afraid of you or they like you. Your power, your available power upgrades, and your appearance. And we're about to get into something right now, so, uh... I'm gonna leave you hanging. So, uh, this is Spark 60 BSI. And next time, we're going to see what happens when we press any button to continue. And I'm gonna try to find the any button, because I have no idea where that is.